The next presentation is the Arts Access Creative New Zealand Arts for All Award. This recognises an arts organisation, company, venue or producer that has best demonstrated its commitment to developing its audience by becoming more accessible to the disabled community. This award recognises a leader in accessibility undertaken by members of our National Arts for All Network. This is made up of organisations and venues that demonstrate strategic action and expand the inclusion to the 24% of people in New Zealand who have a disability or impairment. To present the award, please welcome Stephen Wainwright, Chief Executive for Creative New Zealand. Tēnei tami atu, ki koe, Stephen. Stephen has short dark hair and a tidy beard. He wears a grey suit jacket with a vertical striped shirt. He mana toi, he mana tangata. The prestige of the arts brings dignity and prestige to all. Tuatahi. Firstly, I'd like to extend my congratulations to all this year's Arts Access Award winners. I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the resilience and importance of our arts community during such an unprecedented and, un and uncertain time. Of course, the limited access to arts experiences we collectively felt throughout lockdown is something that I imagine people with lived experience of disability are no strangers to. During this time, the wider sector used and experienced new and different ways of creating and delivering arts and creativity, including through digital platforms. This gave us a greater appreciation of the need to continue to support ways for artists, practitioners and organisations to innovate and increase inclusivity. I'd also like to heartily congratulate Arts Access Aotearoa on your first 25 years of Pukumahi, supporting your progress to make the arts accessible and inclusive from day one has been very important for us at Toi Aotearoa Creative New Zealand. This year, on the one hand, it's disappointing not to be sharing the whakamana of practitioners and champions that these awards generate from the usual live, in-person experience. I personally love coming to the Arts Access Awards every year to tell toko, giving visibility and recognition to those that work tirelessly to ensure arts and creative experiences are accessible and inclusive. On the other hand, this is a year of firsts, as we all know. We expect that the, the digital delivery of these awards allows even more people to share the araha this year. Right, on to the Arts for All Award. This award has become the standard for leaders in this sector to aspire to. Recipients of this award exemplify best practice in ensuring their work in the arts is accessible and inclusive. We are thrilled to hear that due to the so many quality nominees this year, the judges have decided to have a highly commended citation in this award category. This highly commended award goes to the Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra. Congratulations. The judging panel had this to say about their contribution. Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra is highly commended for investing in innovative technology that allows patrons to moderate the volume of an orchestral concert to comfortable levels and committing to continual service improvement. The equipment has benefited people with autism who are hypersensitive to audio levels, allowing them to enjoy orchestral music. The orchestra in full swing at the Auckland Town Hall. And now to the Arts Access Creative New Zealand Arts for All Award. This award goes to the Tim Bray Theatre Company. This company is a shining example of a children's theatre company that demonstrates what accessibility looks, sounds or feels like through long-term commitment and as a member of the Auckland Arts for All Network. Some of the valuable offerings the Tim Bray Theatre Company provides for children include audio described performances for the blind, New Zealand Sign Language interpreted theatre performances for deaf tamariki, sensory relaxed performances for children with autism, 
and thanks to Tim Bray's innovative programming and use of technology, a wide range of children who otherwise would have missed out on theatre shows are now included. They have an exceptionally accessible website that makes the offerings and bookings very clear. They've instigated a gift a seat donation scheme so that ticket buyers who can ensure free tickets are available to others. Underpinning Tim Bray's achievement has been the establishment of their accessibility policy that drives all their action. Kao Rawe, congratulations and well done Tim Bray and all your team for the outstanding, pioneering work in making theatre more accessible to disabled children and their families. Ka nui te mihi ki a koutou. A bright and lively theatre scene from their show Greedy Cat. Close up of trophy, ferns unfold and crisscross on an earthy background. Gail Rotherham and Tim Bray stand side by side. Gail has blonde hair, she wears cream beads and a matching dress. Tim wears glasses, a navy suit jacket and a colourful tie. Tēnā koutou katoa, nā mihi mahana ki a koutou mō tēnei whakamana anui. Thank you for this Arts Access Award. It's an honour to be the recipients of it. This comes at a time when we are currently celebrating our 100th production on the cusp of our 30th anniversary in 2021. So with this award, we are certainly feeling as though we are on top of a maonga right now. Our purpose is to inspire children and young people of all backgrounds and abilities to be confident and creative through New Zealand theatre. So thank you to our funders and partners, our many audience donors, our arts access suppliers and a personal special thank you to our team members and trustees past and present who have all supported and shared our vision in arts accessible programs as we have strived to reduce barriers and make theatre accessible to all children and young people. E hara taku toa, he takitahi, he toa takatini. This award is an acknowledgement of our long-standing commitment to the many diverse communities that we serve in the accessible space. Their support and guidance as we continue to evolve and grow our accessible program and make theatre accessible to all children and young people through our gift to seat outreach. Naku te roro, no te roro, ka ora e te iwi. And a personal thank you from me to you, Gail, for your vision and passion and drive for our arts access programs. We couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, thank you. Our thanks to Arts Access Aotearoa and Creative New Zealand for the award and the acknowledgement of our mahi. Kotahi anō, na mihi nanui ki a koto katoa.